A few weeks ago, the world received unexpected news when Pope Benedict XVI announced that he was resigning. The near 86-year-old has held this title since 2005. Due to declining health, he is stepping down, something the Catholic Church hasn't seen in nearly 600 years. I think it takes a lot of humility and um, a lot of courage to be able to, to uh, do that when you feel like you know, you're not going to be able to, to do it the justice you want. The Pope officially resigned at 1 p.m. earlier today, or 8 p.m. Rome time. Although the announcement was a surprise to some, others say they saw it coming. It's good for him. Yeah, he's an old man because he's been talking about this uh, through the years. And so it was, it was unexpected, but not unexpected. February 28th, 2013, a day that will go down in history. For now, Catholics here in Macomb and around the world look forward to what the future will bring. The Pope represents Christ on earth, and I think it's a unity, unifying figure, and I, and I would see that. I would see it continuing to unify the church and move forward in a world that's pretty broken right now. Cardinals will now meet in what is known as a conclave to elect the next Pope. When there is a majority vote, that cardinal will take over. The hope is to have replaced Pope Benedict by Easter. I'm willing to bet it's going to be an Italian. They're going to say, hey, we had a couple of guys from outside, and let's get somebody back again. There was talk of a Brazilian pope, so uh, chances are this time around it'll either be an Asian or a South American pope. As Pope Benedict steps down, many Catholics keep him in their hearts. And I'll just pray for him as, you know, as an elderly man as he prepares to die. No matter what we do, God still loves us. After resignation, Pope Benedict will continue to lead a dedicated life of prayer.